it's Corrine with another page out of my Smashbook. And today I am using a separate piece of paper that I will be adding over one of the pages. And it's not because I don't like that page, but I really wanted to use this paper from Prima. It's from their Tea Time collection. And I found the cutest quote on Pinterest from Melissa Francis, I believe it was. And it says, sometimes you just got to put on your tutu and twirl. So I printed that out on the bottom right of my paper. And I did do a few things ahead of time. I printed out my photo. I'm using a, I think it's about a two and a half by six photo and a mat of the same collection to go behind my photo. And then that ballerina, I printed it out on the paper, um, the color of the paper from one of the roses that you see at the bottom of, of this page. That way it matched perfectly. So I know that I wanted to use some lace on this just to keep it a very girly page. And I wasn't sure um, where I wanted to use the lace or how I wanted to put it on the paper. So I'm going to adhere down my little ballerina with the mat behind it. And that ballerina is from the Silhouette online store. I just printed it out. And so here I decided I'm going to add my lace to the right and left side of my photo and tucking it underneath the photo to make it look like it appears that it goes all the way across the page. And I'm just pleating it as I go using my hot glue gun. I'm pulling up my mat there and my photo to tuck that lace underneath it. And now I'm adding a little bit to the other side again, just to make it appear that it's, it goes all the way across the page. I do end up putting it across the photo as well. I just wasn't happy with how it looked. So here I'm just wrapping the extra lace around my page and I'm adding some flat back pearls and these are from Saw Crafters. And these do not add a lot of bulk to my page. So again, I'm going to add them to the other piece of lace on the left side as well. Here's a little bow, again, using the same paper collection. So now this is when I start thinking that I want to go ahead and add the lace across. I just, like I said, I wasn't happy with how it looked. So again, using my hot glue, I'm just going to add that across, add the pearls on it as well. And then I originally had tucked in those pieces under my photo. I'm just untucking them just to make it appear that it's one piece going across. And in the end, I was really happy with how it turned out, much happier that it went across the page. So I'm deciding where to add my bow. I decided I do want to add it to the middle of that lace. So I'm just cutting out a couple of the pearls in the middle. That way it's not sitting up so high. It actually tucks in between the row of pearls. And then I'm just going to cut off an extra piece to add it to the middle of my bow. That way it matches the rest of the pearls using my hot glue. Here is a tin that I have of a bunch of leaves cut out, different types of leaves. And I cut them out. Um, usually if I have scrap pieces of paper, I'll cut out a whole page at once or just using some very um, light papers or even white. And then this way I can go through and grab a few. I don't have to cut them out every time I want to use some. And I actually use these a lot. So I'm just adding a couple that I will add to the top of my lace and the bottom of my lace.
and I was going to use my white gel pen to go around the border of that that mat, but it didn't show up very well. But it did leave a little bit of an indent, so I went ahead and finished it off and did both the right side and the top. This is Little Crown from, again, Sock Crafters. So I'm adding two coats of acrylic paint to it, and then I will help it dry with my heat gun. And then I decided it needed a little bit of sparkle, being that it was a crown. So I used my stickles in frosted lace, and I went around the entire crown with those. And then I also used my finger to just kind of smooth it out. This will take a little while to dry. That way it'll be the last thing that I adhere to my page and then I'll just let it dry. I won't close my book. I'll leave it open overnight and let it completely dry. So after I've added that, I'll just set that aside. Here's some more flatback pearls from Saw Crafter, and I'm just kind of looking at the different colors to decide which I like best. And I like the yellow one, so I'm going to add three of those using my hot glue gun. To this page, I added a little bit of Distress Ink around the edges of the page in Festive Berries from Tim Holtz. And then I added it to my book. And then I used a, a little bit of glossy accents to adhere that crown down. But I'll do that at the very end after I've added the page to my book. And that's all there was to it. Questions, please leave me a comment and I hope you've enjoyed Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.